welcome back to my channel. So I've just got out the shower, as you can probably see. Um, sorry about the weird angle. I'm still obviously... Our wardrobe room still isn't even fully done yet. And um, that's why today I'm going to Ikea. My sister has got a voucher for 20% off. So I'm going to go along. I need to get a desk for the children. Um, and I well, we need to get one each for them. And also I want to look at like a makeup desk for the wardrobe room. So that is on my agenda. I also need to pick up some bits like I get all my glasses and plates and everything from Ikea. So I always like to get any if I've broken any. We've broken one wine glass and one pint glass. Or oh, the builders broke a pint glass. So I like to get, you know, the felts. Like the, do you say felts? Colouring pens. Um, I like to get a few of those when I go as well for the boys for their birthday and Christmas because I think they're lovely stocking fillers and they're really good. They're only £2.50 for the small pack or £5 for the large pack. Yes, yeah, so I like to grab some of those as well and probably grab some meatballs for lunch. So I have a little catch up while I'm getting ready. Um, I've been trying the Garnier Vitamin C Serum. Um, I think I showed this on a haul. This was part of a gifted um well they, i had some vouchers gifted and then i go in always with my old faithful lacora rose oil so this is from aldi i absolutely love this stuff um i just think like one of my biggest tips with skincare is like i'm not a skincare expert whatsoever but i do feel like when you find something that really suits your skin like run with it <laughs> because um, your skin also, you do need to switch things up once in a while. I think your skin does get used to things. Um, but this seems to be going strong. I wear this all the time. I bought about five of them. <laughs> so, yeah, I absolutely love them. I'm in dire need of Botox, though, so look. Um, my headaches are back with such a vengeance. So, it really helps my headaches. I cannot wait to get that booked in. But um, I am just debating whether to put some foundation on today. I think I might because it's nice to feel a little good about yourself. So my old faithful, well my new faithful should I say, my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. I use this in shade 6. I am actually meaning to try um, my friend who recommended this foundation to me also recommended something else recently that was like a almost like a dupe so i might try that i think it's called something like i want to say filter or something like that so that's just some foundation on um and then i'm just going to use a little bit of concealer um i've been going back to the luminous silk concealer um a bit more recently i normally use my eraser but i just like how because this is the same formula as the um, foundation it just seems to blend in really nice and I only use the tiniest amount anyway on like blemishes and a little brightener under my eye so it just works really well because it's not too far off my actual um, skin colour like my actual foundation I think that one is in shade 4 so yeah it's only like two shades lighter um, which is perfect for just a little bit of right now that and then i am probably just going to put a little bit of bronzer on i think today um am i going to put some by terry on yeah well, i should put might as well just a little bit of the by terry cc serum this is pretty much my everyday makeup really um this is a little more pricey but i will say that i use like this that is all i use um and i use it just a little bit on my cheekbones like so a little bit up here it's like a little bit of a curve kind of thing going on because like I'm no makeup artist <laughs> don't think that you've come for a makeup channel um and then a little bit around my forehead I've been absolutely loving as well at the moment is the iconic London um sheer blush so this one is called power pink this one um it looks really really bright and it looks really bright when you put it on to be honest but you only need again the iconic london stuff's quite expensive but you only need the tiniest amount like see what's on there and then i just literally put it like that on the apples on my cheeks you can see how bright it looks and then just 
pat it in it's not very good light here <laughs> to take you out into the into the light to show you but it gives such a nice little pinched cheek glow so yeah I'm just going to pop a little bit of that on and I norm I really like to use my Eula Masqua highlighter but I don't know where it is I think I must have put it in another bag right for my brows I need to talk to you about my brows actually because I had them re um like my top up done so I've got that coming in a vlog showing you a little bit about what they look like and how the healing process went of them um, and a discount code for Marion because she's such a lovely lovely lady and um, since I've been done I barely need anything on them but my own lashes are really really blonde <laughs> I don't know if you can tell on camera but when the sun hits them they're so blonde so I've been using just this slay the brow um, from makeup gallery it's just a pound and it's incredible you only need the tiniest amount I think I have it in shade um, let's check what shades this what does it say brunette but I think they've changed it now I think there's like I think there's different shade names um, but you don't need a lot at all I just use it to colour my natural brow um, not I don't do it like neat or anything I just do it to like I say color color my hairs because otherwise um, my hairs are really blonde it looks so odd and like real light and that is that and then I'm pretty much done I'm just gonna put a little bit of my revolution pro and lip balm on and I'm done nice natural makeup for the day so i'm just going to go and dry, dry my hair i'm just going to probably just go and blast dry it um i normally leave it to dry naturally but because i'm going out in like half an hour i'm just going to go and quickly blast dry it and then get some clothes on and yeah do you like here Hi guys, so I've just purchased, purchased, perched you on the windowsill. Um, it's Sunday afternoon, Lucas is napping after a big dinner and Leo and Matt are watching Superman I think and I would love to be doing like a autumn cosy decorate with me or something but unfortunately I have still got so much to do so I went to Ikea yesterday you'll have seen me getting ready I was going to film in there but it was so so busy and my anxiety of feel for filming filming when I'm out is quite high at the moment like I am trying to get better at it but it was just way too busy but even if I had filmed like I think with Ikea I always really struggle in there because there wasn't a lot new and um because it was so busy i just wanted to get in and out but believe it or not we had such a nightmare we had a problem and we were there for six hours <laughs> i went with my sister and it was it's a long story but i got what i needed in the end i needed to get so the boys are going to have desks in their bedrooms um and i was going to so leo's i'm kind of manufacturing something from what i've got but he needed a chair and Luca, the one I, one I wanted to get him was a bit too deep, but I found the most bargain desk. When I put the desk in chair, I will show you, but the desk was 22 pounds. It hasn't got a drawer or anything, but it's got a little compartment underneath. So I thought I could get some like storage bins or something to go in that little space to put all his felts and crayons in and stuff and some paper. And then it, I got the cutest little chair, which was 19, just 19 pounds. So I've got a desk and chair for, what's that, 30, no 19 plus 22 20 no 
19 plus 22 so 41 pounds for a desk and chair which i think is really good um but yeah if you're looking for like a cheap desk for your child i thought that was amazing but it's a little bit of a haul time because i'll show you the little bits the majority of the bits i picked up from ikea was furniture and really boring stuff that costs a lot like um i needed some drawers for inside a wardrobe which were 25 pounds each um it just all adds up doesn't it but like it's one of these things i want to get the boys bedrooms done and i want to get them done before they go back to school next week and i know it's a bit of a, a push but i think it's the push i need so anyway i'll just show you what i got so i picked up a couple of these dimper bags these storage bags are incredible they're massive they um come out as well they're quite thick they're that depth and they're really really good for i find for decorations i love it when everything looks so neat, nice and neat in boxes but i do find that you can't fit as much in boxes as you can in bags and so i like to have like these bags i've got two for christmas and one for halloween i think but i also use them for like when i'm organizing things like clothes i need to sell or i've got one for easter so it's just quite handy having them in those bags and plus when you're not using them that is another problem with like storage boxes although i love a good storage box when you're not using them they take up so much space whereas with these when you're not using them like those two bags take up barely any room they're also really good for like bedding and things like that i think these are three pounds each so i've got two of those i already do have about four of them um then can you go to ikea without getting these felts i always pick these up and i use them for christmas and birthday so i always get the boys a fresh pack of felts for their birthday or for christmas normally christmas because it's an extra little present isn't it um but these are just two pound fifty for the small packs or they do the big packs for five i've actually bought this for my friend's little girl but um i thought we'd show you it so these are five pounds for they've just got a few more tones of that colour so a, like a few blues a few greens but these have got like just the primary colours in basically a small package for my boys and a large pack for my friend's little girl and um, I also got these plates so last time I went in I actually got the bowls and the cups and the cutlery but they didn't have the plates and I picked them up so there's six plates in here I believe one two three four five six six plates and i'm sure they're only like one pound fifty for the six they're beautiful pastel colors now we always used to have the ones that they previously did which were like bright colors um but they've gone like i've had them ever since leo was a kid like leo was a baby so i've had them years but they are starting to like they're like some of the bowls are stained from when they've had like something like tomato soup or spaghetti bolognese in them and i know they're getting a bit older now so they will they do start to use our plates but it's always really good to have these if you like eating outside or if you have a party like i feel like it's better to have two packs of these in the cupboard than buying like loads of paper plates um because i just find that i just get too many plates then so these i've just got the set of the two lots of plates two lots of bowls two lots of cups and they've got like their own little storage container and they come in really really useful so i picked those up and um, i then got another pack of these glasses now these glasses i was actually gutted because you can't buy them singly and i only needed two <laughs> but i've had to buy six um but it doesn't really matter because i can either give some away or have them as spare but these glasses are um just plain tumblers these are like that you get in um like the ones that in weather spoons they used to do but they are tough and glass they are really thick and they are like these bounce like they do not shatter at all however when we were having the loft done and we had that really hot weather what had happened was the builders builders fault they put them inside each other and the glass expanded because of how hot it was um and i could not get them out of each other and so what i tried to do is try to put them into cool water to shrink the glass back down um and it just exploded into a million pieces the two glasses just exploded in the kitchen sink but they are really robust apart from that but i needed to get another two because of that reason 
and so now I've ended up with six <laughs> but it's still not bad I think six glasses for six pounds they're just a pound each so perfect for if you like starting up a new home or you just want some plain glasses that you're not too worried about if they get broken those are really good these are called um, these are from the IKEA 365 range um, what else do I get? I just got some of these um, plastic sandwich bags. I don't know if you can see on there. Let me get a bit closer. These are the pack. These are the ones that are white and silver and they've got the 2.5 litre and the 1.25 litre. Um, these last me absolutely ages. I probably buy a pack maybe every time I go to Ikea or every other time. I only ever go to Ikea maybe once a year. And I still have loads left in my other pack, but I picked them up anyway. These are great for what I use them for is when I have throat, when I have my bananas, I put them in these and then put them in the freezer to freeze. Um, and they're also really good for snacks to put in the, my bag for the kids. And um, they just come in really, really useful. I use them sparingly. I don't use them very often, but they are really good quality. If you do need like a sandwich bag, because they're quite thick. Um, so yeah, I'll give those. And then finally, I picked up these pillowcases. Um, these are the Magic Bracken. And these were just £2 each on the IKEA family price. And I just loved that rust colour. They look a bit brighter on camera. Um, I don't know whether if I bring them close, you will see more of the real colour. But they're like a really beautiful rust. And I thought these would go lovely in my living room. I already have pillows and what I tend to do if you're new to my channel is I have like different pillowcases on my pillows for different seasons instead of buying new pillows. So when I'm not using the festive pillows I put pillowcases over them so that they can be used all year round and I haven't got to store them. Um, you'll probably see in a bit when I do, well I've seen a couple of videos when I do like a decorate with me. I'm praying that I can get one done but I have got to remember it's only just gone September. It's just that seasons move so fast on social media so yeah but i really love this rust color so i picked up four of those these are the 50 by 50 um centimeters or 20 by 20 inches um i'll show you the size i can get one out if i can get one out she says um, they're quite a decent size that is the size of them and they're a really nice kind of like linen-y hessian kind of material so yeah i'm really really pleased with those for two pounds on the ikea family price like i say so that's everything i picked up from ikea yesterday i have got a couple of other bits that i've picked up this week um i'm sure i have but yeah i'm gonna go and do those drawer inserts um so I'll take you with me while I do those and I'm just trying to like work out in my head like how to move these bedrooms around I really just want to get the boys room sorted because every other room it's that every other room is going to be a mess until the loft is done which I was kind of hoping it would be done by now um but no <laughs> we've still got so much to do and I keep thinking about it and we've still got to pay to have a floor put down and I'm just thinking like you know you just have to budget don't you especially when you're doing things like bit little by little so i've just trying to got to work out when we can get the floor done and then once the floor's done we can start moving stuff up but i'm going to try and finish painting that next week and then at least when it's painted we're like one step closer um, and then it's just a case of getting the radiators finished the electrics finished and then the floor put down it's just go 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 at the moment but yeah i'm gonna I really just my point is I really want to get the boys rooms done because I just feel like if their rooms are nice and neat then maybe I won't feel as bad because it'll just be a couple of rooms done I mean this room is fairly neat now I did empty loads of stuff out of here yesterday that the builders had left in here um but yeah it's just we'll get there <laughs> little by little guys little by little right let's go and do those ikea drawers now um, and then that's one thing done and then i think i'm gonna try and move a space in the wardrobe room to dismantle the day bed in and then i can put lucas's bed in his bedroom 
and I think that'll be a big thing so yeah let's go and try and do that so guys I just quickly wanted to show you this that I had from Poundland Poundland guys this is from the Pep and Co I went to Dudley which was my nearest big pep and co but i got these gorgeous green leggings they're not they don't suck me in as much as i'd like but they're seamless and they're very comfortable and they've almost got like a fleece lining in them they're ribbed i don't know whether you can see on camera is this gonna focus yeah they're like ribbed anyway they're really really lovely and soft um and then this is the jumper so i got a medium in the top and the bottoms they look tiny on the hanger, but this is a medium. They stretch loads. Could have got probably got away with the small in the jumper, but I but I love um it being oversized so it covers my bum. And guys, the top was um nine pounds and the bottoms were six. So it was only fifteen pounds for the set. I can't get over it. I absolutely love it. So I thought I'd just quickly show it to you. Um I also got these leggings in a brown. Let me show you those. Yeah, these are the other ones. So these are the brown ones. Um, I picked these up as well. These were £6 get as well again. I'll just show you up close. So that, they have got a little bit of a waistband. They are seamless. They're really, really lovely. I'll show you inside if I can. I don't know whether it's going to show up on camera. Um, but can you see? They're like... It's just like a fleecy. They're so nice. Um, £6. Really nice length as well. I don't know whether you can see in the other room. But yeah, look at the length on them. Really nice. So that was my pound. Okay, so in Lucas's room. I'm um, kind of dismantling this day, but at the moment for his bed to go in here. Ignore this on the carpet. I don't know what it is. I'm kind of hoping the bed's going to cover it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm just dismantling this now. I've got part of it here. And I'm going to put this into Leo's room while we bring the bed in here. I really badly need a new carpet in here, but maybe I'll try my Dr. Beckman's on it. <laughs> anyway i've just got to get figure out how to dismantle this and then i've got to hurry up because it's already half six at night and uh, why do i start things late at night i will never know i'm sweating you can see the glow this isn't a healthy glow this is a sweat <laughs> oh right okay let's crack on with this i'll show you it in a minute okay so i'm actually sweating but this is where i'm up to so <laughs> i've managed to move the day bed put Lucy's bed in here ignore this because I've still got to sort through all of this I've managed to do that and I've got all my DVDs still over there but I can't believe I've managed to do it so so for for the moment ignore the kids getting mad at each other for the minute I've got to put I've just put the day bed here I've just put the day bed here for now um I'm just trying to organize stuff in here a little bit better um I've still got loads of stuff to sort through I mean look at the landing can you hear the kids going mad at each other yeah that's about normal um i've still got all this to sort all this to sort but for now at least the big move is done um so now it's just like tidying up for bed because it's what time is that 20 past eight wow the next day i've like it's still a mess i've tidied up a little bit here but i've got to sort through all of these um, and I'm thinking that I might actually switch the room around. So I've put this here. There's a little gap down that side of the bed. Like a tiny gap, you can see. Um, but it's not really that big with that there. So what I'm thinking is... Because this bed has got four drawers. But with that there, you can't access that one. You can only access this one. And that space is so narrow down there that you can't really get to those either. So well, what I thought was... I've just measured and this cube unit here fits across there with that there. So I'm thinking I'll move these prints onto this wall, move the tele over there um, and then move the bed to this side. And then I will have room to put like a, a bedside table there. But what I'm going to focus on now is this. So this was put in. I might put the other one in. I was going to potentially put another one in, but I think I'll just leave this one for now. Um, this has just got filled with a, full of crap, while I've been, <laughs> full of rubbish while I've been tidying. So what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to empty this, and these are the drawers that I've bought. So they're actually oh, part of the 
complement range and these are the drawers from Ikea now these aren't cheap these are £25 each because these are what goes into like the Pax wardrobes which I think has gone up so much I think everybody's buying Pax wardrobes and that is why they've gone up so I've just bought four for now to go in there I'll show you what they look like they actually look really nice um I actually have five in these one two three four five yeah these are what they look like in the wardrobes so I've only got four and then he'll have that but I've also got up there if you can see some spare shelves so I'm thinking what I'm going to do in here is do the same kind of thing um, and put the shelves up there instead of these metal ones because these can fall so that is the plan I'm going to do that now Okay, so it's a lot later on and I'm officially like, I'm officially sweating. I think I've actually sweat through my t-shirt. I'm sweating that much. And think of the calories though. Um, but yeah, I've switched it all around. It looks so much better. That's all my DVDs to sort. Um, but the bed's been moved around onto this wall. I will move the prints or at least hire them up behind the telly. But yeah, the cube units fit perfectly. When I got there, I was like, oh my gosh, please fit. <coughs> so, so close. Um, and then this is the wardrobe. There's the drawers and that rail now. And then I've still got a few shelves up there that I'm going to sort. The books, well, I think I can fit something here. So I might get him like a little bedside table and put, be able to put the books on or something. Um, I might just get something second hand or from a charity shop or something, to be honest, because... It's just something nice and lightweight because I still want to be able to get to this drawer. But yeah, I'm so pleased how it fits. And there's so much more room now. So his desk, his little desk that I'm going to build is going to go here. It's only small. It's got a little chair. I'm not going to do that tonight though because I'm absolutely whacked. It is 7 o'clock and I've got to get the kids some tea. I might try and clear that off so it's like not a mess for him because that's a bit dangerous stuck by his bed. So I might just clear that somewhere now. So this is the desk, it was just £22, I've just got to get this sticker off the top. It's just really basic, it has got like, it didn't have a drawer or anything, but it's got this little like little shelf underneath. So I'm just going to see if I can find some like drawers, I'm sure I've got some somewhere, that will just fit underneath. And then I'm just going to build his little chair, but I think that's perfect for what he needs, it doesn't take up loads of room, it's a nice height, yeah? And then I'm going to put something on here, like I was thinking I've got like a pegboard, that I got from Poundland. I was thinking I'm going to put on here like little baskets and stuff. So that's the plan. Um, but yeah, that's it. I'm just going to, like I say, just measure this little bit here and um, see what I can find. So this is the chair that we've got. This is These are really good actually because you can buy the different seats and the different bottoms. So this is the lobber jet. <laughs> and then this is the um, bottom here. So this is Sibbon. So yeah, I'm just going to quickly build this now. Here's 
okay so in leo's room i've just actually put in i had two i was i did get one of these drawers so another tip is always shop your home like we've got some of these drawers that were going that were used to be ages ago in my makeup room they don't fit now so i thought i would bring them in here so i was only going to bring one in and then i've got two legs for this desk that i bought from ikea that's lucas playing by the way um yeah i bought two two legs to like cut this down and have a small desk but when i bought the old desk in it actually fits on that wall ignore this i've got to fill it um but it actually fits there okay um with loads of room to be fair nothing else is going on that wall so i'm just going to leave it as is at the moment i've emptied these and i've bought the two lots in and then i was worried about being able to open this door but actually it opens pretty well obviously there's stuff here that needs to be moved but it fits all right there it's like a really nice big desk and then i'm going to put his chair up that i bought him and i'll show you that um, and i'm just going to fill that hole there as well um but yeah really pleased how that fits i'm just gonna see whether to get some kind of i'm wondering whether to get some corner protector on here though um for when he's in bed because obviously it's not ideal having a corner there but i could always move this chair this this one inwards so that he's still got the drawers but yeah i'm really pleased with how that looks to be fair i think it looks really nice i haven't attached this yet um but i have got some brackets to attach it because i used to like i said this actually used to be how it was set up in the in the in my desk so i've just bought it in here and it fits nice because he's got quite a big room lucas leo has quite lucky um yeah so i'm just going to grab the gaming chair now But I really hope you enjoyed today's vlog again. I'm really enjoying just like being able to take the camera and like just show you bits of my day. Um, also, I'm really sorry I didn't take the camera around IKEA. I, I like did take a little bit of footage and kind of hoped that I'd have enough, but I haven't. Um, but yeah, I'm so sorry about that. But I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I would love for you to subscribe and stick around. And until next time, guys, I will continue some more DIY when the kids are back at school, I think, because they're being left to their own devices and my poor, poor neighbours. <laughs> but yeah, I will speak to you later, guys. Yeah, until next time, guys, take care. Bye. You set my world on fire. You're mine.